We've chosen this Nissan because it's one of the few, few vehicles that you can actually get, which is still a very basic vehicle. It has no electronics in it. Wind-up windows, uh, naturally aspirated, 4.2 litre diesel engine, so masses of power under the bonnet. Being able to keep the occupants in the vehicle safely heated at minus 50 degrees, and equally being able to keep the engine running at an operating temperature is going to be a big challenge for us. So what we've done is we've chosen Wabasto heater, which is a great big diesel powered heater which runs independently of the engine. And that's going to give us extra heat into the engine itself through the cooling system. The roof lining is being pulled out, the side panels have been pulled out and we've stuffed it full of insulation. On the floors we've actually taken the whole mat up and we've put foil down and felt which is a thick 30mm felt to give us a huge amount of insulation there. And in order to get this vehicle really, really safe, we, we fitted a custom build roll cage. So we're going to upgrade the suspension, stronger springs, better shock absorbers. And lastly, the most important thing is the grip on the road. And then the only way we're going to achieve that is by putting specialized snow tires on. We've insulated the battery. This is a gel battery. The fuel system's got, a, got actually a heater on it. So this will warm the fuel as it comes in. And if we leave the engines running all night, we've actually got a warning system over here that if the engine should cut out, we'll actually be able to hear this buzzer. You lose most of the heat coming out through the top of the engine as it rises up. So we'll put this thick felt blanket across the engine. Literally like you cover yourself with a duvet, we're going to keep this engine so it traps all the heat from escaping. Simple, but very effective. Something we've had to do here in Yakutsk is actually double glaze the windscreens. And these guys are amazing the way they do it. Literally they took another windscreen, a bit of insulation to give you an air gap, and it gets stuck onto the windscreen. Never have I seen this done anywhere else. I think it's okay. Four wheel drive and a good tire, so it goes anywhere. That works. Yeah, that works. <laughs>